Hello and welcome to Europa Novalis for El Dorado. So you may be noticing, if you're particularly eagle-eyed, that this is 25 days later than it should be. Well, not the video itself, but where we are in the game. That's because uh, I accidentally pressed the spacebar and went forward a month before I stopped it. Absolutely nothing happened in that month. To be honest, it was probably good. We have zero manpower. Sitting around for a month is probably the best thing to do, especially given that we're also integrating Naples. Right, let's see what else we can do. Uh, we can get some technology. Do we have an idea group we're still working on? Yep. So we will finish the idea group, then we'll start getting Diplotech and get really back into the game. In terms of that, we'll get a lot of trade, a lot of money. That'll be very good. We can start building a lot of new buildings. Talking of buildings, we should probably build a march. We already have a march. Okay, I'm ahead of myself. Um, what should we do? Oh, own something in the Italian province, Italian region. How long is it going to take us to annex them? 18 years. I think we can get a new, I think we can get a better mission in 18 years. So we'll cancel that. We're going to look to form the Spanish nation diplomatically. So how close are we to Admin Tech 10? Um, probably about 10 years away from that as well. But once we do that, we get Aragon instantly. There's no waiting to annex it, it's just ours. And we will probably get Naples and Aragon around the same time. So we'll have a lot of extra land. And then we'll do our little conquest of Europe. Possibly we'll start eating the Ottomans by then. I don't know. So... Who do we want to fight? What have we got? What's going to happen? What's going to go wrong? Um, well, we're going to have rebels in Sin. Hmm, what can we do about that? We could harsh treatment them. We could send people down to fight the rebels, but we have no manpower. I think harsh treatment's the best way to go. We are ahead on military tech. And this is something to spend it on. So we will harsh treatment those rebels. Also, why is our base revolt risk so high? Let's actually no, it's negative six. Why do they want to rebel? Did we get something happening? Autonomy decreased. Autonomy, why, why would I do that? Okay, that looks like I was an idiot at some point, trying to decrease autonomy. Let's see what else we can do. Well, that one, that re those rebels are going to go away when that autonomy decrease goes away. Susian, 100 years, probably not going to worry about them. 5.4 years, and Castilian are 0 years. Okay. So let's get these guys over here. Just get them sitting and waiting for manpower effectively. So, do we have any colonies on the go? We have maximum colonies that we can have in Trinidad and... St. Vincent, and those are both in the colonial, um, same colonial region. Um, so that's not telling us, that's coalition. Colonial map mode, right, yes, they are both in the Caribbean. And if we get the Caribbean before, uh, Portugal, the Caribbean, then we get complete control over colonizing it. Which is really good, because all the provinces have, let's see, like five, five, yeah, really high base tech, six. And this is before we get events that will raise that. That's really good. And we also have our colonial nation over here. Just getting back where we were. So, explorers, we need to send them off somewhere. They're already off somewhere. Did I just leave everything in a state where I didn't have to do anything next, this uh, episode? Okay, we've got 100% relations with Aragon. We probably don't need to do anything else with them. Wait. Okay. I was wondering why we why it gave us the option to royal marriage Aragon. I was like, don't we have the same ruler? Is that not the point? Um, let's get rid of that and send them somewhere else. We're also creating a core on Telemkin. Have we got everything else cored? Yep, so it's just Telemkin. Where's that? That would be this province. And that's good because that's an important centre of trade and that should give us some more stuff. Uh, we're at pretty much max for force limits for both of those. We could possibly go over a force limit for Barks and just attempt to um, 
go massively over. Uh, I'm just going to turn down the music just a tad. It's a, getting a little exciting. Right. Um, so yeah, we'll just let time run on. Possibly we want to bring these people back over. Do we have any truces? Uh, I was hoping that shows truces. That's Crusader Kings 2 I'm thinking of. Brandenburg, don't care. Austria, don't care. Hesse, don't care. Lorraine, Haltnet, Trier, Telemkin. So just with Telemkin. So Tunis are fair game. They have no allies and they're going to eat a bit of Telemkin. So let's start getting claims on them so that we get things for cheaper. So we want Constantine. Or do we want Anaba? Um, it doesn't really matter. We'll fabricate claims on everything we can. Right. Now we get to wait a little bit. We do have too many diplomatic relations. Can we get rid of any of them? Not really. I want all of those. Ah, we killed some natives. Status quo, really? Okay. Trinidad attacked us. Well, natives again. Let's... Right, get these people and get them on boats and get them back over to this land because this is where we're going to attack next. There's no reason to attack anywhere else. We're not going to attack France, so we have to go here. We will probably attack Corsica when we get rid of these people here. Who are they allied to? Yeah, of curiosity. Tuscany and Venice. Oh, Venice is nothing. Aquelia? I only have ever seen that form before. And Tuscany. Yeah, so Corsica would be a perfect target because it would get us a lot of land. So when we get to Admin Tech 10, we need to double check that they're in the same place. Just going to move these people forward. What we could do is to speed up the manpower recovery. Let's create a lot of these things. So armories or training fields. Mm, nothing here. Nothing here. They are changing buildings in the next patch so that it's not, you don't have to go all the way down the tree to get all the buildings. You just get, like, you get one development path and you develop your uh, province a little bit. And then you can improve its base tax and spend points on that, opposed to spending points on all these buildings, which might seem a little bit wasteful. We are ahead on military though, so we can waste a little bit. If it allows us to war quicker, then let's do it. Okay, we ran out of money. Um, I forgot what idea groups we're going to Expansion and exploration. Okay, good. Is expansion not... Hmm, it is an admin tech group. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to stop at colonist. Possibly. Oh no, stop once we get the second colonist. So that'll be... Naval force limit. The Picasso's belly. Second another colonist, merchant, then we stop. And then I'd like to work on admin tech. Because we want to get admin tech 10 fairly quickly. We don't want, like, we don't want this land going to waste. It's effectively wasted, this Aragon land right now. Although we get a large army from them. Our explorer died. We should hire another one. Uh, 50 diplo points. Right, you can have an explorer. Where do you want to explore? Uh, North Sea, which is up here. Or the Gulf of... Sent someone? I'm guessing that's in this area. Um, we'll go for the Gulf. Right. Festa, new technology, Diplotech, not doing that. Might want to speed up time here. Oh, no, we got new stuff. Diplomatic, ooh, start popping up. Right, Tobacco and St. Vincent. Um, I'm definitely going to increase Diplomatic Tech cost. How long was that for, anyway? No, that I did it. For 10 years. Eh, it might make it a little bit more expensive. It's probably not going to do very much. Might affect one, possibly.
Right. Lots of buildings are being made. Okay, there's a reformation. Uh, Protest Protestantism is now everywhere. So let's see where this is mainly. So, Protestant, Protestant Center of Reformation. Okay, so this whole bit here is Protestant. England hasn't switched yet. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to find some good wars from that. Perhaps a league war at some point. Hmm. Okay, annex integrate. It's going fine. Is that going to go any quicker? Not really. Oh, okay. Uh, we oh we just get global settler chance and global settler increase. Very good. Get that for free. New idea. We're going to take our additional colonist, and we can use that straight away. Uh, we're going to have to take some people over if we're doing that though. See, there's five people, six and one, five and two. Let's take them and we're going to bring them all the way over the sea. We'll just say that we're sending them here for just now, or to Trinidad for just now. We'll take the next one along. We want St. Lucia, Barbados. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. Hmm. Any of these that are really high base tax? Six, 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 six. All pretty much six. We'll just take the next one in line then. And we'll send our transports over there. Talampkin is now properly ours. Uh, it still has high unrest. I kind of want to keep it as it is though. So what we'll do is when the transports get back, we'll start ferrying people over to Talampkin. How long till their rebellion? 4.3 years? That's not going to happen. Hmm. We want to ferry people down here so that we can get to Sin. Because we're also going to have Cassis Bele against Jolof. Because they are... Let me just double check. Oh, they are Sunni. Are they still counted as primitives? Sub-Saharan. I don't know if they're primitives. We might get a Cassis Belly against them, which is a really good Cassis Belly to get. I think it gives you no Diplo cost for everything. So, like for just taking provinces, which might be good. Turn Trinidad into a city. Double checking, Trinidad. It seems to be fine. Yeah, we'll take that. An extra base tax in Trinidad. No problem with that at all. Papal influence because we converted. Let's convert another province, Hodna. We can convert quite a lot of these. We will get our. Is this another diplomat? Not diplomat. Um, another colonist. Ah, no, this is um, force limit, and then the Cassis Belly. Okay, we get the Cassis Belly next month, but we get the force limit now. So we have fourteen more ships that we can build. Build a couple while we can. And we'll just wait. All of our training fields are almost done. Quartermaster died. Okay. Uh, Abenaki, Powhatan, Keech, and Kuru. So Keech. Powhatan. Eben Is that Abenaki? I don't know. And Chura. Okay. Who can we get here? Probably want to get the land maintenance modifier guy. How's he's cheap? There we go. That's is that enough? Not quite. We can get military tech. Uh, we can wait till the end of the year to get that, just so that we maximise the amount of military power we're getting. Still exploring. Still exploring. Okay, we should probably be fabricating claims on Tunis right now. Right, annexation still going. We get a diplo rep guy. Oh, we already have a diplo rep guy. 
Why is it still negative one? Do we have a negative from a zab? A diplomatic faux pas. And a negative from a zab. Oh, see. So next year, this is going to go really quickly. Because it, we're going to get four diplomatic rep, effectively. Full annexation. Tunis took everything from Talemkin. Well, that's interesting. Well, at least we only have one person to attack down here now. Does mean we can't do multiple wars to take everything we want, but that's fine. Right, get him. Not going to be making quite as much money, but it's absolutely fine. We just got 120 ducats. Actually, I can just send each of these individually. There's not that many of them. Sevilla and Sevilla. We're going to spend all our newly found money on barks. So, we need 12 barks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, and well, that's it. So we got 7 left to go. At the end of the year, we will take the new military tech. That'll put us in line with France. Uh, we'll be ahead of France at that point. Just using France as kind of a baseline. What's Austria got? Austria's at 10, so we're kind of in the middle. France will probably take it at the end of the year as well. Our, pit, our rebels are still going. Should probably take these people here. Right, attach them, and we're going to put them on the new island here. Right, and then we'll bring our boats back all the way over so that we can get some men to the rebels. Not quite got manpower yet, which is a problem, but we're not fighting anything, we're just kind of mulling around. Contacts in the Holy See, gain 100, okay, we lose 100 admin power for a cardinal or gain 100 admin power. We're gaining 100 admin power. We do have three cardinals now. But we're not going to play the Cardinals game where we try and get to be the controller of Mercuria. It's really not going to happen, looking at it. It's much better to just go down here and get the Mercantilism. Global tariffs have gone up. Perfect. 20%. It's going to be a lot of money coming in from... I think it's... Yeah, Colonial Brazil is the one over. Only one it will come in from. Hmm, still not that much, actually. Oh, Cornwall's gone. England is whole again. Right, get everyone here. Join them together. Oh, I got rid of our explorer one. One, two. Right, we're going to leave three in here. Do that. Send the no leader one off to Sevilla. I'll send you. Hudson Bay or the North Sea? Ah, uh, we'll get the North Sea. We want to see if someone's colonizing. Okay. We should get military tech. It's fine. We can upgrade that while we're not doing anything else. Uh, three pips in shock, or and two pips in morale. I don't know. That wasn't even the one that upgraded. I think it was this one. Okay. We'll take the one that has a point in shock. Okay, where are transports? Transports here. Let's just move all of our people down to Trarza. We're almost back in line where we should be. We are losing money though. That's not good. Why are we losing money? That because upgrading costs money, maybe? Our inflation's going up, but that's because of our gold mines. That's always true. Hmm. Nothing in particular. We'll let it go. It might disappear. It'll definitely disappear when our manpower gets back to actual zero, opposed to negative numbers. 
Right, so let's get all of these ones down here. Then you can come back. Aha, we converted some more people. Let's convert. Yeah, we'll convert Sin. I don't really care if the revolt risk goes even higher in Sin. Because we're going to send people down to deal with it anyway. Okay, protect trade in Sevilla. What are we doing? Why do they have so much trade power? Found the Casa de India. Oh, they must have explored over here. Be my guess. Um... Okay. Collecting in Sevilla, so no tra- Are we still collecting in Sevilla? Oh, that may be our problem. We don't want to collect in Sevilla, we want to push to Sevilla. So let's transfer the guy from Sevilla to Genoa. See how that does. Oh, let's check how much money we were making from trade. 14.53. Uh, we'll send you off an exploration mission to Hudson Bay. So, end of the month. 14.77. We make more money by not collecting trade in Sevilla. Because we get a higher percentage of the pie. Hmm. Not much more we can do. We could insult a rival. That would give us more power projection. Who are our rivals? England? Mamluks? Or Austria? Which one of them doesn't have a penalty? England! Let's insult you. There you go. That'll increase our trade power. And I think this is a good point to end the episode. Next time we're going to continue kind of keeping our realm safe continue colonizing and hopefully we'll deal with all the rebellions that are gonna pop up. See you then. Goodbye.